I, d- I just thought Josh was going to get other people because he said you guys. I couldn't tell if he said was saying, "Are you good for two more, or are you good for the rest?" You know. It was good. For but the rest. yeah, we can do it. We're troopers. Mm-hmm. And we have. I don't have the sound on, do I? Okay. It's Scorpio. Shit, Scorpio. That didn't make any sense. Jib gun, Scorpio. Hit and Robin. It's always interesting whenever we get to see Scorpio play against someone with a projectile. Yeah. Or, or a reflector. Because it's so rare that Scorpio gets those reflected back out. And what I'd actually really like to see is someone predict Scorpio throwing those books. Because yes. if you know he has them, it typically doesn't take him very long to throw. Mm-hmm. Easily, not necessarily easily, but they're they're predictable. I feel and like from watching so many of matches of his matches, I've seen a couple tells of when he looks to throw it. But so many of those times, it's like he's realized that the opponent doesn't even know that he has it. Right. So that's when he goes for like the run to the ledge, turn around, throw the book. Like, like he has a book right there. Oh, there we oh, go. That was that was exactly the thing. Yep. All right, uh, I'm going to look up Hit's Reflector uh, frame data. That's what I was curious about. That will play a huge part in what they can. But he can also reflect with side beam, which is a very interesting option. Guardian Orbiter's Shield Appears frame 9. So that's pretty slow for a reflector. You really got to have the read. Uh, I guess that's I should see what frame the uh, book throw is. Book throw is a throw, so it should be frame 1. Oh, right. Um... But reads the jump, gets the up air. Scorpio with the stock lead, but already at 82%. Hit with a good smash attack could could kill. Jip couldn't quite get on the smash full taxi. If he had, he might have actually been able to do something and take Scorpio stock. But we are kind of seeing the same thing that we saw in that last set, where Jip had a super easy time putting on the early damage. But now that it comes time to find the kill, because Pit is kind of like, um, I don't know, he's kind of just looking for the one hit to get kills, right? Or the or the fourth throw, yeah. Yeah, very like he's not really a kill confirmed character, so it can it can be kind of tough going in, at percents like this. Especially because forward air and up air are such good landing options for Robin, and Pit like if he's spaced perfect can contest them, but otherwise it's. Uh, all right, yeah. Hard for him to deal with. I mean, that game was looking kind of even for a little bit. For the whole first stock. Yep. But Hit struggles to kill, and Scorpio's very good at not getting killed. Mm-hmm. And when Robin or any of these, you know, kind of turtle zoner characters, when they get that stock lead, man, it's hard. Scorpio is such a minority in this part of the game because he's the only one who doesn't have, like, hair covering his eyes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Badgers are winning. Let's go. Also a down throw up smash coming out. I actually, See, I'm watching this. I'm also watching this. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I think this is actually a really good pick for Jifka, though. Oh, yeah. Because Scorpio was escaping a lot to that platform. It didn't give him that much, but all the blast zones here are bigger. I mean, yeah, I think Pitt's like, best attribute is his ability to catch landing. And where do you go to escape it on FD? You don't. Especially because Pitt's... Uh, I believe even uh, with Robin's aerial movement, Pitt's ground movement is way better. Oh, yeah. So. But that being said, we're not really getting to see Pitt slash Jibka yeah. use any of that. Oh, Ooh, he had the read. On the oh, other hand, a early. on the other hand, where do you go to escape Robin's ledge traps in this stage? Okay, that was really good. I like I like what the use of the arrow that he sent the combo. Oh, he did Great forward smash. Back. But if he had forward smash and... Scorpio reacted, so I think he reacted yep. to the up smash. He could have crossed him up. Exactly, yeah. So this is where down smash comes in handy. Yeah, down smash wouldn't have killed, though. Wouldn't have killed, but it would have been percent and given him stage position. Assuming that Scorpio didn't get a cross up. Well, it would have hit either one. It yeah, yeah, but then it would have sent him back to center stage. Yeah. And, uh, whatever. Too late now. Yep. I'm anti down smash. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, every anybody who plays against me knows I'm very pro down smash. Um. <laughs> All right, needs a landing trap of some sort. Okay. Gets up smash. The air dodge did not last long that, enough. That's basically a reset, you know. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I like I like the idea. Trying to punish Robin's uh, lack of a hitbox on uh, above the up B. Okay, there's the orbital. The other thing about the orbital is that move is kind of laggy. Like it's you can't you can't laggy. run in and grab him because the orbital stays out for a while. But this just like kind of gives up stage control if he has it. I gives mean, up any sort of position when he throws the item. Like because that's one of the ways to beat Robin. Advance on him after he throws magic. Yeah. But I mean, ooh. And this is this has been the struggle the whole okay. the whole set so far is if you can't kill. Forward throw is on deck. Okay, got the up smash. Yeah. the jump with up smash. You put I mean, you put somebody on the ledge enough times against Pit. Eventually, one of those things is gonna hit. Oh yeah. And this is very close to checkmate percent. Ooh yeah. So Chip is gonna have to be really careful. Waits out that arc to fire perfectly. Ooh, nice little combo there. Okay. Oh, but he. Yeah, that's it. Misread on that forward smasher, possibly even misinput of some sort. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I, I would have expected an up smash there, but we don't know what Chipka was reading. Yep. I wonder if he uses smash stick. I feel like it would be super useful with the way that he plays with this character, and like. Yeah, I mean, what tilt is he using besides forward tilt? Like, I feel like the really important time to have tilt stick is when you need to land and do a tilt in the middle of a combo or something like that, or like. Uh, there is a, the whole aerial Three, momentum thing two, that comes in with that, one, but it, mostly, I feel like it's more important for Jipka to be able to get those smashes out in the middle of like pivots and stuff yeah. like that. I'm gonna use by the stage kind of thing because yep. it's the same stage, but it's not. Mm. Also, this is exactly where Scorpio would go. Yeah. So I don't fully understand the pick, but it's fine. Maybe perhaps it's just a music counter pick. The dulcet tone filling our headsets right now. Trying to get Scorpio too comfortable. Relax. Let these up smashes hit you. Right. I'm wondering yeah. how much different. Like obviously it's always different if someone else takes the first stock. But almost all of the advantage has been. Pit couldn't kill, so Scorpio could get all the extra percent before before the first time. And he can play the uh, not so much the runaway game is, but the like get in get out game. Right. But Scorpio already has quite a lead. Yep. Checkmate's already a threat if right. not a kill option. This is what Pit wants though. Got him off the stage. Re grabs. No punish. The, the punish. Yeah. There it is. Yep. Scorpio saw Jitsu kind of reel back and knew that he could re grab safely. And now it's going to be probably similar to what we've seen the past two games. Robin's not even at kill percent yet, but another 30% when he gets there. Another book I didn't see Scorpio pick up. <laughs> what? He has a book? Those people who read. <laughs> okay. Knew he was out of options. That was a great mm -hmm. option. Man, that's... That's the game plan with Pit. Take away the options and then punish that landing. Good back air. All right. Gotta punish this ledge. Okay. Ooh, that was a hard read. I yeah. mean, it wasn't dangerous by any means, but it was. So I wonder if that's conditioning to get him to neutral get up later and get a tip or after. Oh, that's like interesting. That. Yeah, maybe. Because that's the spot when I saw JK is standing there, I'm like, oh, he's going to try and get a, a tipper F tilt either. Catch him. Oh, that was the idea of using the armor. But the, the arc fire just got out. far enough out. Yeah. Like, it, it actually would have worked even if he had hit the... I'm pretty sure if he'd hit the arc yeah. fire, but Robin was closer. But he, he was mm. far enough away. Well spaced by Scorpio. I, I'll try to use the can to do that. Yeah. Would, nope. Bye. <laughs> there it is. Okay, nice. It's that last hit of forward air that is really deceptive. It's kind of like you know how Falco's forward air has that landing hitbox? Right. It's got kind of the same thing going on. Got, got a similar thing, but... Yeah. Well, it's similar, and it, it, it catches people for the same reason. It catches people for the same reason, and it's got more of a vertical hitbox than the rest of the Yes. Game, which is part of the surprise element. Mm -hmm. And this is where Pit excels. These low percents when your opponent's above you. Yeah, that was a really long string off a really one hit. 
Stay back. Ooh, second hit of an air hitting him to the leg. I think Scorpio is perfectly satisfied there to stay is. back yep. until he gets the grab. Yep, yep, yep. So strong 3-0 there from Scorpio. I know that's a matchup that Jitka has struggled with with all of his characters. And I mean, so it's not necessarily it's, I mean, a matchup. When I say a matchup, yeah. I mean it's a player matchup. Yeah, that's yeah. the matchup I'm talking about. I don't mean that he struggles with Robin. I've seen, I've seen Jibka deconstruct Robin before. He can do it. 